Because I've always liked helping others. I always think, like, yeah, I could donate $10 to the food pantry, but that's not enough for me. Stop, we like to break all the rules that people think bakers should be or are. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, look. Life-changing surprises. You didn't tell us that. Transformations and reveals. When families and communities come together, anything is possible. This is George the Rescue. Hi, my name is Peyton, and we're the Triana family. Our family is odd and insane. Finley! All right, girls, love you. Have a great day. Unique. I would have gone with Unique. Um, okay. yeah. Girls, you gotta eat. We're gonna be late. We've never really eat together as a family. Like, we're always separate. I have multiple jobs. I'm in and out of the house. Jenna works mostly from home, but her full-time job's running the household. We're a big Italian family, so every holiday, every family event, every happy, sad occasion revolves around food. Food makes you feel better. Food is a way to celebrate, so that works <laughs> out perfectly for us. Food is far more than a bonding experience for the Trianos. For Peyton, it's a true calling. At just 14 years old, she runs her own full-fledged baking business. It started with a scrambled egg and a grilled cheese, and she has not stopped cooking or baking a day. Since. My baking business is called Eat Sweet, and I post everything I make on my Instagram, which is underscore Eat Sweet. I mostly like the creativity that there is. Like, I love crafts, I love things like that, I love painting. So, this was kind of like another form of art that I was able to do. I'm really not a cake eater, the whole family knows that. But when she either makes an order or if she's just trying a new recipe, it really is like, wow, like, look at that. I'm really able to make like almost any type of dessert. Bread, cakes, cupcakes, cookies. Like some people can sight read music. I'm the same with that, but with recipes instead. She's like the master of the yeast. Peyton isn't just a baker and entrepreneur. She's also an activist and philanthropist. Eat Sweets proceeds go directly towards her own nonprofit, Compassionate Kids NJ. This organization helps supply kid-friendly food bags to a local pantry feeding many others in need. I've always really liked helping others, and I thought that this was like the perfect opportunity to be able to make a bigger difference. I always think, like, yeah, I could donate $10 to the food pantry, but that's not enough for me. What people don't notice is there's a difference between having no food and being food insecure, where you aren't sure where the next meal is coming from. And that seemed to be the void Peyton wanted to fill. When Peyton goes shopping, she doesn't go shopping for the regular rice and beans thing. She goes for the cookies, peanut butter, and she goes for the good stuff. So when Peyton is around, families get all excited because I know she has some goodies in those bags. Thank you. You're welcome. The reaction she gets from the people that get her food, it's remarkable. The ride home, I know she's glowing because she knows she made a difference in people's lives. I can't believe all the things that she's accomplished and I can't wait to see what she's gonna continue to accomplish because if she's, what, 14 now and doing like 10 times more things than like every single other kid I've ever seen do, I can only imagine what she's gonna do as she gets older. Aww. 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 Don't expect anything like that ever again to happen. <laughs> we got it on tape. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we are in the abyss, as we call it. We lost a dog in this room. I have two daughters, two teenagers, who are polar opposites. Turn on the music. Yin and yang. Yes. Finley is my wild child. She's big, she's loud, and Peyton is just more reserved and pensive, and they're so different, and yet their rooms right now look cookie cutter. They have the same carpet, the same walls, the same closets. The carpet I've had forever. This has been here since the house was first built. So, you know, it's dirty. You know, I'm sure, it's, like, if you smell it, it probably doesn't smell good. Peyton's custom food bags have fed over 5,000 families. And I love how her sister and parents help support such an inspiring mission. I want to recognize their creativity, sensitivity, and selflessness in a meaningful way. While the Triano home is in pretty good shape, Peyton and Finley's bedrooms could definitely use some added organization and inspiration. Hey, what's Hi. up, Peyton? How are you? Very nice to meet you. How are you? 
with George for Rescue, we're always looking for those who aren't looking to help themselves, but are looking to help those who need it most. And yeah, I just wanted to do something to kind of showcase who you were and give your rooms a makeover. No Are you cool with that? It's crazy. Yes. Yeah? Yes. I want to give George a big fat kiss on the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> Group hug. Group hug. I had no idea anybody was even following what Peyton's doing. I hope it's a lesson for her that down the road, you never know what good comes out of putting good out into the world. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Filtreat Air Filtration Products. For more info, go to filtreat.com. We are here in Denville, New Jersey to meet up with our designers extraordinaire. They are sisters, Mikey and Kelly, and figure out what we're going to be able to do for the Triano family. Hey, hey what's up, Mikey hey, hey, and Kelly? How are you? Oh, nice to see, nice you. To see you. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. I love your store, too. Butter and Velvet. Thank just you, you walk in, and it's a feast for the eyes. Yeah. This is really cool. It obviously, yeah. it all starts with Peyton. She's just a phenomenal human being. I feel like if we're going to come in, we're going to do something nice for her. It'd be awesome to do something for her sister, too. Peyton's basically what she wanted was something in this turquoise family she had showed us, something calm. Our biggest thing was that we wanted her to be able to work in this space. She's an and entrepreneur. she's still in school. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's 14 years she's old. She's only 14. Okay. <laughs> Finley, she's very glamorous. She loves makeup. She wanted more of the golds and the, and the neutrals and it to be just a very kind of festive space, but she also loves the color pink. It'll be really fun when it all comes together. Let's let's put it to work. Yeah, we're yeah, excited to get wait. started. Let's yeah, do this. Absolutely. Hi, George. Hi, Mikey. How just are you? Taking in this blank canvas we have here. Yep. Obviously, the walls are all patched up and ready for your paint scheme. Yep. That's why we keep Joe in the corner. He's a <laughs> Joe and his team from Joe's Fine Finishing have done a great job getting this place all spackled and ready for paint. All we gotta do now is a little sanding. I am using the 3M's Pro Grade Precision Faster Sanding Sheets because with one fold, it's gonna prevent slipping, which is going to allow me to sand longer with less hand fatigue. We have a full length mirror coming, so we're doing a pink stripe down this wall. Basically to frame out the mirrors. We're painting um, her room a quiet pink with a quiet white, but we're also giving her some surprises, some things that you would never think about. Love Mikey's idea for this wall. First I gotta throw some delicate surface painter's tape up there. This is my go-to when dealing with freshly painted drywall. Throw a couple stripes on the wall, voila. <laughs> What about the closets? <laughs> There's, they're chock full of everything. Everything. Anything. We brought our closet organizer in, asked her to go through everything in the spirit of donation. My friend Eva came in and helped the girls go through all their stuff, gave them three piles, a donation pile, a throw away, and a keep pile. Peyton's beginning her freshman year and Finley's beginning her senior year, both really important years for the girls. So having them organized in their space is really important. We had California closets, donate the closet inserts, and organizer were using over 300 hangers. Peyton and I have a lot in common. I owned a bakery. I know how much work it is, so the fact that she's even donating everything is amazing. And she definitely will make a difference in a lot of people's lives as she gets older. The closets were packed. They were overflowing. They opened one door and all the stuffed animals fell out. It will keep Peyton and Finley organized for school and actually organize their life in the future. Peyton, get ready because you're going to the big city. Welcome to Milk Bar. So we're basically going to make the classic Milk Bar birthday cake. Take a nibble. That's amazing. This is insane. <laughs> George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. Peyton combines passion with purpose and uses her baking skills to help others. Someday she hopes to have her own cooking show. Well, Peyton, get ready because you're going to the big city. You are going to the Milk Bar flagship location to meet up with the one and only Christina Tosi. Now, Christina has created literally an empire with Milk Bar. I couldn't think of a better friend, a better mentor for Peyton. So, uh, hey, Peyton, enjoy. This is going to be sweet. One, two, three. Yes. Hello. Hey, I'm Christina Tozzi. I'm the founder and chef of Milk Bar. We're at our New York City flagship in the basement crazy disco ball baking classroom. So we're basically going to make the classic Milk Bar birthday cake. Ooh. I'm 
I'm so excited to meet Peyton because she's such an incredible young woman who is already harnessing her passion for baked goods and her love of doing good. This smells so good. Plus bakers, you know, we're like this. You can use cake scraps to fill any little space that your cake maybe breaks apart or whatever it is so that you use every last piece. I kind of think about it as like cake doctoring. Why baking? How'd you get into baking? Because I have like a sweet tooth, so if I could like bake my own stuff, then I could have like as much as I want. That's like the, the reason I wake up in the morning and go to work is like, I'm hungry. This is what we call birthday soak. It's a vanilla scented milk. I mean, it's what I want regular milk to smell and taste like on the regular. And this is like my one of my favorite little this kitchen cool. hats. <laughs> it's just the most random dinner spoon. We bend them to get them to the right little ladle state. So essentially the inspiration for the cake was born out of the childhood cake that my mom always made for my birthday. Oh, that's cute. Which is like the Funfetti box cake mix <laughs> and the tub of frosting. But this yeah. is from scratch and it took two years to figure out. Wow. Take a nibble. What do you think? That's amazing. <laughs> it's like light and fluffy. Milk bar really inspires me. Christina takes baking to like a new level of creativity. I never realized that I could be that out of the box. It gave me like a lot of hope for my future too that I could be like Christina is. So one of my baking icons is my mom. Her name is Greta. She makes these sugar cookies that are super simple to make. Whenever there is a charity call for baked goods to raise money for something good in this world, I bake these. Should we make some Greta's for good for your charity? I think that would be great. Okay, let's do it gonna let the butter and the sugar cream together for a minute. And then we're just going to slowly stream wet ingredients. I'm not a patient person, so this part's always hard. Thank you. I think the best bakers are the impatient ones, I just wanna say. We like to break all the rules that people think bakers should be or are. I got into baking at a really young age. I was a home baker before I decided to become a professional at it. I'm excited because I see a lot of myself in her. What she does is inspiring to me. Now I'm gonna go into businesswoman talk with you. <laughs> What's your best seller? I would probably say crumb cake or cookies. My crumb cake is my own recipe. We're going to mix just until the batter comes together. Yeah. So when you want to make something that's light and tender, you want to mix it as little as possible. When you want something to be bready and stringy and chewy, you mix it kind of as long as humanly possible. That's a great right? tip. Of course I'm going to go right for the pink. I mean the pink, right? I knew it. Is your room pink? I don't know, because I can't look. Oh. It used to be, though. Oh. <laughs> what do you think the room is gonna look like? I just know whatever it's gonna be is gonna be beautiful. 100%. Today has been like nothing I could have ever imagined. This has taught me I wanna take my business you know, like a step further and not to stop until like that's achieved. Peyton, I have these two books for you. One is our newest cookbook that's coming out that's called All About Cookies. Oh my God. For a little cookie inspiration, my friend. Whoa. And then I wrote this book, I guess a year ago. It's called Dessert Could Save the World. It's like the power of dessert, the goodness that dessert brings, and also the like being stubborn about being optimistic and positive is a really important piece of it. Thank you so much for having me. This is like the coolest thing ever. And I have a little surprise for you. Wait, Something what? that I brought. No. <laughs> Wait, baked goods? Yes. <gasps> I mentioned this, this earlier. This is the crumb cake? Yes. Girl, <laughs> this is insane. Oh my God, amazing. Uh, breakfast, Trust lunch, me. dinner, and then breakfast for tomorrow. It's an incredible honor to get to work with George the Rescue to put this spotlight on this incredible young woman. <laughs> Peyton, I got you, girl. You come on back here anytime you want, whether you need a partner to eat some crumb cake, or you need another baking tip, or you just need a reminder to keep on going because what you are doing is incredibly powerful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Choose from a wide selection of seriously strong mounting products to suit your particular task. The best mounting projects start with Scotch. It is finally design install day and the entire team from Butter and Velvet has assembled here to get this rescue finished. Oh my gosh, Looks right? Looks so good, right? I love it. I know, Kim did such a bang up job on the window treatments, we're so excited. Let's do this thing, come on people. We wanna say thank you to Pinecone Hill, they donated all of the bedding. I love this painting. So we asked a local artist, Amy Whitman, from Mountain Lakes to produce this piece for us. Since we got a wire here, I think the way to do it is with a 3M claw. It's one of my favorite ways to hang stuff. The claw is a drywall heavyweight hanging solution that you can simply mark, push, and hang. Boom. Voila! Voila! I'm glad you like our makeup mirror. So Finley's room was all about, uh, for her, glamour. I love the makeup mirror. I need a makeup mirror like this myself. I don't have one myself. I actually use the inside of my pickup truck, the, the visor with the mirror. And... <laughs> you got it going on over there, buddy. <laughs> For Peyton's room, we wanted her place to hang out with her friends, to sleep, obviously, and to work. You just come into this room, it's a totally different vibe. This wallpaper and Finley's wallpaper uh, was donated by Zoffany. And we have a special surprise for her. Oh, look at that! I love how the dream sign, the neon there, matches the milk oh, bar. Oh, yeah. That is her dream, to build her business. Jen from Butter and Velvet created a custom sign for Peyton. Jen is also a baker and a cook, so this was near and dear to her heart. And the sign says, Baking is my superpower. My apron is my cape. We're going to hang it above the closet so that she can wake up every morning and be inspired by her sign. By herself. Oh, oh yes, it is me, Peyton. Time to get to work. Looking Woo. good, sis. It's been so great being sisters and doing this for sisters really has been wonderful. And we're just so thrilled to be part of it. And we find it just very heartwarming that Peyton wanted to do this for her sister, even though this was celebrating herself and what she's done for the community. We're so excited to follow her and see how the space inspired her and cheer her on as she goes to do many great things, I'm sure. Oh my God. Oh my God, Peyton. Oh my God, it's so cool in here. What is this? What's up, Triano family? How are you? Hey. Very excited to have you guys home and show you what we were able to do in both your room and obviously your room, Finley, because we can't leave a sister behind, you know? Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on through my head is that I am just super duper excited. I haven't been in my room in such a long time. It's honestly, it's completely overwhelming and I can't wait. Oh my God. God, this does not even look like my room. The second I walked into my room, I was completely amazed. It was honestly exactly what I wanted. I can't even take this in right now. This is perfect. <laughs> oh, Finley, my God. Oh my God, look! No oh, look way. at the window treatments. <gasps> my. What window treatments? <laughs> <laughs> curtains. curtains. That's what I work for. Fancy work for curtains. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Well, you can have my room. That's spectacular. Finley! The makeup area and the desk area and the bed and it just the closets, it's it's overwhelming. I loved walking in and seeing those huge fluffy seats right in front of my bed. Do you love it? Do you love it? Having that piece of art is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. It's actually like my favorite shade of pink. Wow. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I can't wear well, my you, mascara. You bring it, you bring it. Go, 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 you go. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so cool in here. Oh my god. There's so much organization. I cannot believe how different it was. This is actually something I get to live in and I get to enjoy. And I can't wait to go back in, really. <laughs> oh my god. I literally can't even like take this all in. Oh my god, Peyton. Are you jealous? I'm in this little area over here. 
Definitely what caught my eye the most was my desk area. A picture with Christina, because that day I always remember, I always think about it. Did you see the sign right here? Yes, that's Peyton, that's so cute. Aww, Aww. that's so cute. And we wanted it there so when you woke up every morning you saw it. <gasps> oh my God! What is this? The first thing that caught my eye was her bed, and then my eyes go right to the sign. I think that really just uh, outlines who she is and what she does. That's awesome. That is crazy. And they said you wouldn't react, Patrick. Come oh on. Oh, my god. The detail that the designers put in, just from the window treatments down to the little decorations on the nightstands, it's like they literally put her into every little piece that they did in that room. I'm really happy for you. I, oh my God, I'm so proud of her. She deserves this completely. I honestly want Peyton to feel proud of herself. She dreams big and you know, I hope it's a reminder to keep dreaming big because every time you think she can't, she does. So whatever else is coming, her dreams are gonna, they're gonna get there. George to the Rescue has meant so much to me. This is an experience like no other because you know, this truly did change my life. There's no words. Yeah, There's no words. I don't, I, 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 I am rarely speechless, but here we are. That's for sure, that's for sure. But here wow. we are. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's for pretty. For first time ever, Jenna. First time ever. This is the way to. For sure, for the sister. Well, the, that's boy, right. sister power. This is girl know. power in here. I'm hoping that my story is able to go out to everyone who watches this and make them realize that making a change does not have to be having a huge organization, having a ton of money to spare that you can make a difference and that you can actually start something like this. Thank you so much for watching that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video.